nào đây mình sẽ đến cái chiến lược tiếp theo để mình tạo ra cái traffic mà mình muốn nha à, đây là online classify là mình phân loại online một vài người một vài người marketer để nghe tôi nói về cái phương pháp này và nói rằng là đừng có nghe Paul bảo mấy cái này phương pháp ở trường học chứ có cái gì đâu nhưng mà cái cái thu nhập thực sự của cái thu nhập của tôi thực sự đã chứng minh được cái phương pháp này nó hiệu quả tôi không chỉ tôi không chỉ là là lấy đi theo những cái xu hướng mới nhất mà tôi cũng làm theo những cái phương pháp mà để có thể có được lượng traffic ở ừ, chỗ nào mà có cái người xem ấy đây là một cái kênh để có thể lấy được lượng traffic rất là lớn à, đây ví dụ bạn dành một vài vài phút ở trong xem TV để bạn không để bạn làm cái mục giao vật này này chẳng hạn ví dụ như thế ví dụ website cho cái online classified này là cái phân loại online đấy mình dùng cả cụm từ nhưng không dịch nữa để cho nó không bị nhầm online classified thì cái website đầu tiên ấy là classifiedad.com tức là nó từ chỗ Seattle là tôi và nơi mà tôi anh Ly sống classify s.com hay là backpage.com hay là craigslist craigslist.org craigslist thì ở những cái website này ấy bạn có thể là để lên những cái dịch vụ kinh doanh và một ví dụ như là backpage chẳng hạn cái trang này ví dụ như bạn đang làm uh, kinh doanh trên mạng chẳng hạn nha thì sẽ có những cái phần cơ hội uh, uh, section khác nhau bạn sẽ có một cái sự tiếp xúc nhất định cho nên là bạn không có việc gì làm thì bạn lấy submit vào trên này để có thể có thêm được cái lượng người truy cập cái này có giá lợi ích không ạ à? à, tôi có thể dùng bất cứ phương pháp nào để có được traffic bởi vì tôi tin rằng tôi I don't want to be left broke. Some people, they put everything they have into one traffic stream. And then Google comes along or Facebook comes along and they say, oh, we banned your account, you're done. And then they have no traffic, they have no business. So I believe in a grounded website traffic strategy. Is that valuable? Yeah. 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 There's really one website that you want to submit your main page to. Dimas. Dimas.org. It's a good site that you can submit to. And then you can also do a simple Google search. Do a simple Google search for directory submissions. Where you're going to get the most benefit, though, is niche directories. So online, if there's websites that just have beauty websites, or just have health websites, or fitness websites, 
or websites focused on business websites. So do a Google search for your niche, your niche, and classify. <laughs> or, I'm sorry, directory. <laughs> All right. Is this making sense to everybody? Yeah. Yes. Is everybody getting value? Yeah. How about in the back of the room? Are y'all getting value back there? Yes. All right. Good, good. All right. Anybody that's not here today is missing out, aren't they? Big time. All right, next slides. The next one here is social bookmarking. This one is a method that's older. It's not going to get you a ton of traffic, but it can get you a little bit of traffic still. And so what you're going to do is just do a Google search. So first I'll share you a popular bookmarking website that many of you probably know about. Reddit.com, that's an example of a bookmarking site, what used to be. Um, it's more of a social site now, but it's, it's still like book, social bookmarking. Reddit. Did I spell that right? Dot com. Yes. Okay. Reddit. Reddit.com. So Reddit.com is another spot where you can submit your articles on your, your blog post. So if you do a really good listicle, and it could be the top 10 things uh, you never knew about relationships, the top 10 things that might be ruining your relationship, that could be an example of something that would do well on reddit.com. Then you go out to Reddit, it gets submitted there, you get traffic from Reddit, it gets indexed in the search engines, you do the Twitter, posting it to your Twitter, you post it to your Facebook group, you post it to your regular Facebook page. Next thing you know, it's on Pinterest, because you use a picture that you made on Canva. Then you do a video, and then you guys are getting the idea how every single one of these traffic methods works together to build your brand. So reddit.com, and then doing a Google search, a simple Google search for social bookmarking sites. And the reason I'm telling you this is because they change like I change my underpants, which is often, in case you're wondering. All right, social bookmarking sites. They change often, but there's, you need to do a Google search for that. So I'll do a, I'll tell you Google search. Google search. Okay? So the next thing, we'll turn it over to the next. Article submissions. All right, who's ready to learn about article submissions? Hi. All right. Okay, so article submissions is another popular way that still works to get traffic. Okay, articles. Articles. Artic. I need to learn to spell. Okay, articles. So the most popular article site online is Design Articles dot com. Did you guys remember that from yesterday? Design Articles is also a place you can submit content to. 
You can use it to find your niche. You can use it to uncover niche market ideas. But with eZineArticles.com, you can submit unique quality articles. The most important part of your article is going to be your bio. Your art, your bio. Or about me. Because that is where you are going to link to your lead generation report. The key thing to keep in mind though is this article has to be 100% unique. Because eZine Articles has now cracked down. But they can still send you a good amount of traffic. But you want to make sure your bio contains your link. Do you remember the other use for eZine Articles? The other use for eZine Articles is affiliate recruitment, right? So you can go on and research articles in your niche. So you can find people in the beauty market that have a beauty blog or beauty following. And you could go out there and contact them through their bio link, right? Click on the link to their website and contact them. So that's eZine articles. Another one is goarticles.com. And then a Google search for article directories. Usually the ones that show up on the first the first page of Google, those are going to be the top 10 or so that you want to submit to. You don't want to get caught up in submitting to hundreds of article directories because that method still it doesn't work as well as it used to, but it works well if you're submitting articles to a couple of the bigger ones, like eZine articles and those websites. So 